so hi there welcome to tours of 2.0 so this video we are going to talking about decision table in pega so there are so many options are available so making a decision in pega we have multiple option to use so for example you can use automation decision or you can use when condition or when rules or you can use decision table or decision trees so there are so many uh decision making options are available but uh, the, uh, they are the performance of uh, the, the activities are is a different but is everything are going to use the making a decision for example guys if you are asking a yes zone no questions when using a automation decision process so yeah so if you using a yes or no decision so definitely you are going to go with the automation decision i am right yes so as same as uh, does the purchase order request to additional approval so that time we are going to using a when rule or when conditions so if you have any uh, questions you are going to make a true or false decision then we are going to use a when condition same as however if you need test the values of multiple properties to answer questions such as what promotional uh, offer should company offer or what is the uh, when you need to going to uh, provide the discount so that time we are definitely use decision table so for example guys uh, we will discuss about the decision tree after some days but uh, let's go to the decision table for example i think you have configured the decision table determine the discount for customer at different spending uh, thresholds okay so using the decision table customer who purchases more than 1000 usd okay 1000 usd uh, in previous year and have been customer for 5 or more than Our uh, ears are uh, enter a twenty percentage discount. Okay, twenty percentage discount uh, uh, for purchasing greater than fifty USD. So that's a one uh, decision making condition. So here we have the customer history is a uh, five years or greater than five, and we need to spend a uh, uh, what. Uh, amount of the previous year and then we are going to provide 20 percentage of when they are purchase 50 usd then uh, if customer uh, purchase more than 1000 but have been customer less than 5 years until the the uh, until to the 50 percentage discount for Oh uh, yes a uh, 50 percentage discount we are going to provide when they are purchase A hundred USD. So customer who don't meet their conditions are not entirely discounts. No. So likewise, we are going to make a conditions here, and based on the every conditions, we can make a decisions. This is called decision table. In here, we are choosing same field. For example, here we are using a customer history, previous year spend, and discount. Uh, code so discount code is a return value so customer id uh, sorry customer history and previous year spent this both columns are repeated every conditions so likewise we are using a decision table so after that we are going to display the uh, the output or return value so when think about the you can uh, definitely same thing is happen in uh, a uh, decision uh, tree also but there are some different we will talk about it later so when come to uh, you can think about the when rule right so one major different between the decision table and when condition is the decision table can return results other than true or false i already mentioned that decision table going to give us some result through this uh, for example here we are going to discount of uh, uh 20 of on 50 so 15 out of uh, of on 100 so like we are going to return the results in through the decision table uh, when think about the when condition it's going to return a true or false so that's a different between the decision table and decision uh, and when rule so this is a main idea about the decision table uh, i will explore more uh, example through next upcoming videos i hope you can got the proper idea about it or oh, i will 
uh, at my uh, medium article through the description and you can check out so okay guys thank you so much let's see the next video thank you